go back to a question which we have in the Q and A, which uh, is probably best to well, it's directly asked for both questions from Jeremy Hughes, who's an eminent nephrologist. Uh, follow up for AKI patients: Are there any utility in clinical? routine clinical parameters or biomarkers which could be used to stratify the best one best the most appropriate patients to follow up more intensely intensely um i'll maybe put that to you nick first of all i'll try to be quicker um i think the the current guidance suggests that everybody who's had an episode of aki has a, a kidney function and acr checked at least once uh, within three months um, and the NICE CKD guidelines go even further and say that, that patients should be followed up for two to three years, I, I think, after an episode of AKI. And clearly there's a tension there with a the large number of patients and workload that, that comes along with that. So I think the, the short answer is there are some clinical risk scores that have been developed that predict either um, progression to CKD stage four or hospital readmission and mortality that have been reasonably well validated, they've got reasonable performance, but they haven't really made it into clinical practice. Um, we've done some work with, with a, a panel of biomarkers at day 90 and identified uh, soluble TNF receptors and cystatin C, which may actually be just better markers of um, filtration, so better than creatinine-based estimates of EGFR at that point that actually are better than EGFR and ACR predicting uh, CKD progression after three years. So I think there are some uh, different options that, that might come in the future, but, but not quite yet. So I think we're left with a huge unmet need, definite opportunity for sort of addressing low hanging fruit by just improving some of the, our follow-up, um, but work still need to be done to define which patients and also the best care pathways. Mm -hmm.